Hello everyone, welcome to Pumpkin Horror. Now today I want to go through my entire pumpkin collection. It's not a huge collection, but it's big enough for right now. But, you know, as each year comes through for Halloween, I'll find some unique looking pumpkins and actually buy them. And before you know it, I'll have a huge collection anyway. But, long story short, I want to touch base on all the pumpkins that I have. I do have some more in my room, but they're not really technically connected with the pumpkins if that makes any sense uh, some of them are like connected with you know different type of figures and stuff and I've done some walkthroughs if you ever want to see you know my entire collection of Halloween stuff I believe there is two walkthroughs that I actually uh, walk through my room and show you everything that I got because right this here right here in this point in time I believe this will be pretty much with a few exceptions uh, the last of the Halloween collection. I am going to move into my horror collection soon after that. I'm going to show you all my Halloween figures, my Funko Pops, my uh, body knockers, and my um, bobbleheads, as well as um, my huge collection of NECA figures. I'm going to show you all that stuff real soon here. But anyway, this pumpkin here, I don't want to turn the turntable on. I want you guys to get a close-up shot of these things. So I'm going to hold this stuff and pretty much talk about it okay all right this guy here made of some kind of pottery okay when I seen this I'm not sure where I seen it at because the actual logo here doesn't tell me where I got it from it just says Halloween 2018 candle holder all right and that's all it pretty much says not sure where it comes from but anyway Long story short, it is made of pottery. The color scheme is black and orange instead of your traditional orange that really stands out in my opinion. And you can actually put one of those um, plastic votive type candles in there and let it flicker in the night. I think that would be very cool, especially in my room. I've got black lights. I've got an orange Halloween light. Uh, plus, you know, having these things flicker would be very cool. And also got the Halloween Christmas tree too, so yeah. Anyway, long story short, that's what this thing looks like. Okay. Moving on. Let's get you over here. Let's get into this big guy. Now this one, I think I pulled the batteries out or it finally died on me. I'll put that up here for you. Alright. Now this guy right here, I'll turn this on for you. So you get an idea. It's a glittery styrofoam type pumpkin. I think I got it from Walmart. Possibly Target. I'm not sure which store it was. I don't believe it was at Holmes. At least I don't think there's a sticker on the bottom of this. No. Okay. But anyway, it is a glittery slash styrofoam type pumpkin. I thought the color scheme and everything synonymous to Halloween. Purple, lime green, orange. Obvious. Those are uh, really cool colors because I did have a Halloween tree that was black, a black pencil tree. And I had it all decorated with those uh, tricolor type lights. Really stood out there. Amazing. Now I got the, um, the orange Halloween tree, which is, you know, 250 white light bulbs. But it really looks fantastic. Especially when you put, like, a black scheme to it. It really stands out. But anyway, this is my uh, purple uh, styrofoam type uh, pumpkin. Okay. So let me just kind of give you some close-up shots of this. As you can see, it's nice and sparkly. And in the bottom, you can actually switch out the batteries. Which, like I said, it does not work. Which I think I might have left it on one night and it just ran dead on me. But anyway, it is very light too, so keep that in mind. All right, and that's what she looks like up close. Eh? All right, the stem. All right, All right enough about him. <clears throat> the twins. Let's get into the twins here. I got these from at homes. They had different facial features. Alright. They're made of some kind of plastic. But they seem like they're carved out of uh, like a wood. It's got a very old traditional look about them. And that's the reason why I picked them up. Because they're kind of old school looking. In a way because 
more like a handmade type situation. Right? And you can actually feel the grooves, okay? Can you feel them? I'm just joking. Right. But anyway, that's what these guys look like. Right? Stems. Got a realistic look about them. Old, dirty look, you know. That's what I like about them. Alright, All right, enough about those guys. This guy here, I got from At Homes, and I'm going to show you the bottom of it, all right? And that's what she looks like right there, At Homes. Which better have my candy, okay? I see these every so often there. Walmart carries them once in a while, too. And um, they'll have different sayings on them. Now, eventually, tomorrow, I'm actually off. I might go back to At Homes and do a walkthrough. Because the last time I went through there was back in June, and they were just loading up Halloween stuff on there. So when I go tomorrow, I'm pretty sure it's going to be fully loaded. So we're going to definitely do a serious walkthrough when it comes to that. Also, I think uh, Big Lots is starting to stock their stores up. Um, uh, Cracker Barrel is another one I'm going to check. I might do that tomorrow as well if I have time. Okay. But anyway, this is very cool because it's very long. It's a very long pumpkin, one of the big long ones. I think that's cool. That's the reason why I picked it up. It's because of the shape of it. All right. And that's what she looks like, okay? All right. Moving on. All right, now this. Let's get into these guys here. These I think I got from, I'm not sure where I got them from. I think they're at homes or something. Most of the time I get most of my stuff on at homes. Alright, these guys are cool. Okay. Triple pumpkins. You can't go wrong with these things. Alright. Let me put one down so. Alright, and that's what she looks like, okay? Now if this one lights up, I'm pretty sure it will. So No. That one's dead, so hang on. Let's check this other one out. See if it's got some juice left in it. The thing about these small ones is you got to use those watch type batteries to uh, get these things to work, and they're a pain in the ass. There you go, that one works. See? But anyway, these look very cool when they light up at night, and they are twins. I had this set up last year where I had these pumpkins next to, I can't remember, I think it was my spirit board, but it really looked cool. Alright, enough about these guys. <coughs> Let's get into this one here. This is <clears throat> pretty much the same one as my other one here. Okay, I'm gonna put that up here. But this one's a little bit bigger. Boom! Happy Halloween, guys. And I think I got that from Matt Holmes. Yep, for four something. Yep, I think it's at Holmes. No, Walmart. It says Walmart right there. See it? Right. But like I said, Walmart <clears throat> and at homes usually carry stuff like this. It's very cool, especially if you got your uh, room loaded up with all kinds of Halloween stuff. Pumpkins really stand out. And you can put these under the tree and everything, which I might do this year because i got to change up the, uh, the layout of my tree. But anyway, that's what this thing looks like. All right. The stem is nice and shiny. Okay. It doesn't light up. I'm sorry. No, that's okay. Rest in peace, guys. All right. Enough about these guys. All right. So now, kind of maneuvering around the other stuff here so I can show you what those look like. So let's get into these guys here. These are, in fact, Party City. Oh, these are very cool. All right. Now, what I'll do is push him out of the way. Put that right there. As I got three of these things, and I believe one of them does work. When I first got these, yeah, that one don't work. Oh yeah, it does. Oh no, okay, okay. I think it's this one here. They probably all stop working after a while, but I got them for a few dollars at Party City. Yeah, there we go. That one works. You can't tell, but. It does. You can see the light flickering. I just got to replace the batteries on these things. And they, as you can see, they change different colors. 
See how they change? But anyway, yeah, see it? Very traditional Halloween colors. All right. And that's these guys. They look cool on my shelf, I'll tell you that. Now, this guy right here, we'll hold off on. I'll show you the big ones last. This one here <clears throat> is missing a piece, as you can clearly see. All right. I forgot what was on that. But uh, I think it broke off. It's probably still in the room. I just don't know what it is. I can't remember. But I'm going to show you what this looks like. Boo. But the reason why I like it is because of the way it's set up. See? But it's cool looking. And, yep. Yeah. Just says boo all the way around. It's a little dusty. Sorry about that, guys. All right, but that's my pumpkins there. Okay, so now, get you out of the way. Let's get into these guys here, these ceramic ones. These are, I'm not sure what they are. They're kind of like, uh, they got holes in them, so they, they're kind of pottery-like. Again, like I said, when I like pumpkins, I like pumpkins. I pick up all kinds, especially if they're unique-looking. And they'll look really nice in my room. But that's what that looks like. This one's cool for one reason. It has Snoopy. And I forgot the bird's name, but anyway. It's been a while since I've seen a Snoopy TV show or, or Christmas or uh, the Halloween one they have. What's it got? Uh, it's a pumpkin patch Charlie Brown or something like that. I can't remember what it's called, but I do have them sitting on my hard drive. I got a bunch of movies based on Halloween and horror sitting on my hard drive because I love Halloween. All right, let's let me grab my other stuff over here and bring it over a little bit. Like I said, it's going to take a little bit of time to get through, guys, because I got quite a bit of stuff here to show you. Let's get into this guy here. All right, bring them over here. This is a cheap plastic pumpkin. The reason why I picked it up was because it's very old school. Okay. And as you can see. I like the, the old traditional values to these things. When you grow up and it's got a little hole in it. I'm not sure what the purpose of that is. Um, but anyway, it's very cool looking. It's very nostalgic. When I seen that, it's like, oh yeah, plastic, cool. Cause they used to make them like that back in the day. All right, enough about that. I have these guys here. They're actually Halloween cups. Okay. And I just got the little smiley faces. And I got a total of four of them. As you can see. All right. I'm not sure where I got these from, but I think it was probably Walmart. All right, now, getting into the pottery here. <clears throat> now, these guys here are cool. They're ghosts. You can't go wrong with ghosts. And I got the little pumpkins inside the bag. That's really cool. See that? All right. I think that's cool. So like I said, I just don't pick up certain things. I pick up unique-looking things. And this, this is unique. All right. All right, so what does that say? Uh, this is Operation Purpose or something, or? Well, anyway, it's a very cool looking figure. I mean, it's got the cool looking pumpkins coming out of it. Very cool. This next one, oops, sorry, I keep hitting the camera, is a actual candle holder. As you can see, i got a wide variety of different things. I like this for one reason. It's made of metal. All right, as you can see, it's got a candle holder in the back. And it would flicker through the eyes here. And stuff. That would be very cool. I haven't tried it yet. But we do have some votive candles. Plastic ones. Maybe I'll try it one uh, this year. Well, who knows? But anyway. Yeah. Let me show you the bottom of it. Alright, and I got this. It looks like, I'm not sure. But anyway, this is very cool looking. Alright. 
And now we'll get into this little guy here. Kind of the Day of the Dead type situation here. But he's not. He is a pumpkin figure. I'm not sure where I got him from. Alright. That's what that looks like. Alright. It's cool looking. Alright. Now, I think I've got actually three more pieces to show you. I'm going to show you this one here. But let me rearrange things here a little bit. And I'll be right back with this, uh, the last of the uh, stuff that I have. So hang it down. Okay, we're back with this particular figure here. As you can see. Let me see if I can pull the camera up so you can actually see the top of him. Okay, that's what she looks like. He's the headless pumpkin. Okay. I think I got this from At Homes. Possibly. I'm not sure where. But when I seen it, I said I gotta have it. So let me just go ahead and shut that off. And I'll show you what it looks like up close. That doesn't tell me where I got it from, but anyway. That's what she looks like right there. Now, this actually lights up in the back here. I'll turn that on. And there's the light. Okay, you can see it flickering. Alright. That's the only part that actually lights up. But here, that's what it looks like up close. Buttons. It's got a very cool pumpkin feel to it. Big feet, like a clown. Alright. And that's what she looks like in the back. This is a very cool thing. You put it on your shelf and it looks absolutely awesome around anything Halloween like. Okay? But that pumpkin is cool looking. And he is obviously headless. Okay? But that's cool. That's one of my favorite pieces, believe it or not. This guy here I got from Spirit Halloween. Okay? And I seen it there one year and I said, oh man, that's cool looking. But it was a bit too pricey. He is truly evil looking. Okay. Now I'm not sure if the battery works on this or not. So let's give it a shot. It does. Alright. Look at that. That's cool. I haven't turned this on in a while. So that's cool. Alright. Now with this here. I think it's. Yeah, triple A's. Yep. Well, that's cool about this one here is the fact that it takes triple A's or double A's. The other ones, if they're really small, they'll take those uh, watch batteries and they're a pain in the butt. Because then you got to run to the store and buy some. Okay, and that's what she looks like here. All right. All right, there you go, guys. That's cool looking right there. He is truly evil looking. Keep them right there. Now, I believe there is one more I gotta show you. Just looking around here. Okay. This thing's huge. Okay. Now unfortunately I took the batteries out of this thing. Okay. As you can see, it's huge. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up the camera and show you what it looks like. And we'll do it from there. Okay. Okay, that's what she looks like. Now it does light up, but I don't have the batteries in it. I'll show you that when we turn it around a little bit. So rest in peace. I got this from Target. I'm not sure how much it was. All right. Let's get that out of there. There we go. And that's what she looks like there. And the back here has a little pump. You just push it. Yeah. And it will light up, but like I said, I pulled the batteries out of this because I didn't want them to corrode. So that's what I did there. But it sits on a pedestal or like a tombstone type thing. And it says, rest in peace. This is a nice addition to my Halloween collection. Okay. Alright, so let's just slide him out of the way. And pretty much end this video. Put this back up here. Here we go, guys. Get him out of the way. Turn him on. Alright, guys, there you go. Now that's pretty much it in a nutshell. That's my collection so far. But like I said, each and every year I will come across certain ones and slowly add them to the shelf. I have a bookshelf in my room that has my spirit board sitting on top of it as well as my mummies. And I think I got my witch on there. But anyway, long story short, I put all my pumpkin collection on that bookshelf. 
and like I said I'll keep adding to it and eventually I'll do updated versions of the pumpkin collection but that's it on the pumpkin collection okay uh, and that's pretty much it now I'm gonna start moving into some miscellaneous stuff if I have anything to show you based on the Halloween collection that I have and then we're gonna move into my horror figures okay because that's just around the corner guys okay but in the meantime don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell because obviously I'm gonna be doing some more videos this is Pumpkin Heart. You guys have yourselves a happy Halloween.